You guys have okay. a new uh, daytime talk yeah. show. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, are, are you going to talk about things? Are you going to talk about, for example, you have a line of sex toys, Coco? Are you going to oh be God, talking don't about say this? it like that? Like well, it's, I call pleasure products. What did I do wrong? <laughs> I, they're yeah. called sex toys, are they not? Yeah, they are. They are. But I like. See, I help women find their inner goddess. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, what's an example of a, a product that you would sell? Well, there's, there's, I, you know, I have lubes and all that good kind of stuff, and mm -hmm. the couple must, oh, there's a vibrator mm -hmm. for the couples where, you know, things can be inserted, but the guy actually re has a remote, so you can go to dinner or something. Zap or and Zap. <laughs> so, so I... You have to picture it. Oh, wait a minute. You're at dinner with the guy. You, you have to I thought you stayed home. The guy went to dinner, and he takes it out and starts messing around with it, and you're at home like, yay! The remote's not, the remote's not that powerful, but we're working on one. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Z so this is, a, this is a drone vibrator, is basically what you're saying. The, the yeah. vibrator, and, it, and he works it. I don't. Right. So he, he, he likes to get... Have you done this? Have you guys been in a public place and he's m manipulating the controls on, on, on the vibrator? A, in a club and at dinner, you know. Library, yeah, sure. Anywhere. Good. You know. That's insane. Uh, did you hear about this, Annie? I, didn't I know, no. Well, but no, I was you know wondering that. what that so buzzing was now. <laughs> I thought there was a helicopter moving in. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, we, uh, was hosting the talk, yeah. a talk show uh, always a dream that either of you had? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, really? After we did the, um, the Ice and Loves Coco reality show, they said, well, you've got such a huge fan base. Right. You got to stay on TV. You got to do something. So they brought up the talk show. I'm like, no, no, hell no, hell no. Then I just said, you know, OK. Who knows? You went from hell no to okay. I went, right I, I went, I, I went back. I, no, no, it was a long process. But then I yeah. finally said, most of the things I've done in my career, I didn't think I could do. Other people thought I could do it. So all these people were saying, you can do it, you can do it. Sure. And we started to do the talk show. We shot 10 episodes, and it's the most fun I think I've Good. ever had. Yeah. What you, guys, what you do every day, this is fun having an audience it's with you and rocking audience. like that. Yeah, it's fun. It mm -hmm. beats a real job. I'll tell you that right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, uh, who are your, I'm just quick, because we're out of time, but who are your dream guests? Uh, like Ice, who would be your dream guest? I like to get a Barack Obama after he gets out of the White House uh -huh. so he can come in a Wu Tang t shirt and just tell me what's really going on. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a great clip? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for an endless supply of me. <laughs> Ugh.